Did Andrew Tate live up to his kickboxing career? Today we're going to be taking a brief look into what his kickboxing career was truly like. Was it fake or was it all true? Let's find out. Tate's kickboxing career reportedly started way back in 2005. The exact date he began kickboxing is unknown. Some sources say he won 43 fights and lost 9. Others say he won 76 fights and lost 9 fights. Some say he did this, he did that. It's a bit messy. But according to a website called sportsmanner.com, Tate won many championships in kickboxing the ISKA English Full Contact Light Cruiserweight title. Jesus, that's a mouthful. A fight documentary video was posted on June 6, 2013 which shows Andrew preparing for a fight against someone called David Radeff. However, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows for Andrew. He did lose some fights and suffered a severe eye injury when he was 23 which was one of the reasons why he stopped kickboxing. The risk was just too great for him to continue. Not to mention he continued on to other more profitable ventures and the pay for kickboxing was just poor. But kickboxing is not boxing right? Yeah. So I'd make like this $100,000 a fight, you fight two or three times a year, you pay 20% to your manager, you pay taxes but you're not rich rich. Thankfully there is actually solid evidence online to show you did kickbox. A video of Andrew Tate vs Marlon Hunt went viral last year and got 6.8 million views. Another video by the same channel was posted this year in March and it got nearly a million views. The last recorded fight Andrew Tate had was back in 2020. He has no current or future plans to return back into the ring. Let's answer the final question. Was Andrew Tate legit? I'd say yeah. He very clearly has evidence of at least a few fights. Not to mention, why would he boast about being a kickboxing champion if he had no evidence or there was evidence to prove otherwise? I don't know. But if you want evidence I make good videos, check out this one.